today we're going to go ahead and I'm going to pull a, I'm going to pull this uh, Ruger 1022 apart, and we're going to replace the firing pin and the extractor since I've been having a few problems. Ah, there you can kind of see it a little better. Anyway, since I've been having a few problems, um, having failures to fire and and quite a few failures to extract, and I thought, eh, time to get the whole kit. We'll just get it, pull it apart. I got the a kit from Volkorsten right here. Simple is like 20 bucks, maybe a little more than that. And so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So give me a second. We're going to start with... Well, like everything, completely unloaded, safe. You want to start with pulling the band off, the band clamp off. Just loosen this little guy here. There's one bolt here, takedown bolt. And you want to take your safety switch, kind of wiggle it in between, so it's about half on, half off. And then, should just pull out, like that. Now, i got to move the stool here. So now you take this, get it out of your way. camera's a little funny. Hi. Um, so now what we need to do is there's a couple pins, a couple pins that hold this on. I'm going to move this camera down so you can kind of see, see what we're doing. I'm going to pull, push this pin out, this pin out, whole trigger group drops out. You notice this trigger group's got the extended mag release and uh, aftermarket trigger for with a trigger stop on it. You'll also notice I got a plastic buffer tube here. Actually, that was a plastic screw that I cut down, makes it fit right. Real nice, gets rid of that funking sound every time you fire. So we'll push that out. For as, many, for as much as I shoot this thing, it's actually in pretty good shape. So now what we're going to have to do is you pull this all the way back. And the bolt just lifts. And for the most part, it lifts up. Now it lifts up enough. Then you... Uh, Tip it out from the bottom. Don't need this right now. Just set that aside. So you got your lever, got your other parts, and you got your bolt with your firing pin. Let's see. Okay guys. So there's just one little pin that holds this, your firing pin in. So we're going to grab a punch and hmm, something to kind of hold it against and just drive that pin right out. Sorry about the camera being mounted on the exact same place that I'm uh, working. So there's your pin. Pull your pull your firing pin back. Comes right out. It's hard to see, but there's a little spring in here. 
can see that. It's actually tapered on one end compared to the other. The tapered end goes in first. So while we're at it, we're going to go ahead and clean this channel out. See, it's kind of dirty. I don't pull this apart very often.
Okay, so through the amazing magic of video editing, I got it all cleaned up. Here's my two, the two different firing pins. You'll notice this is the old one. I cleaned it up a little bit so you can kind of tell the difference. But uh, if you'll notice, it's pretty easy to see which one's thicker and which one's going to look a little nicer. They actually make these a little thicker so it slides better in there and you don't get it to cock or anything else. It works a lot better. So we got this in. We're just going to go ahead and put this in here. Kind of hold it in real gentle like. Well, I gently tap that in. Make sure when you're tapping it in that you have it all the way in. So it'll go all the way through. There we go. Got that far enough in there. An actual set of roll pin punches would be really nice right about now, but you can do what you gotta do, right? Okay, so the roll pins even on each side. You can see firing pin moves. We're pretty good to go. So the next step is to pull this extractor out, replace it with this one. Now there is, if you look, a little little plunger in here that holds the, the extractor in. What we got to do is move the pin far enough so you can pull the extractor out. So we're going to try that. How well you guys can see this. To be honest with you, with the light I got in here, I'm having a hard time seeing it. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna let this go without letting it come all the way out and fling across the room because I don't know about anybody you, but I have chased springs across my shop and it's not fun. So they also came they also came with a new spring, so we'll go ahead and stick that in there. There's a new spring, there's a new extractor. Here's the old extractor. You can kind of see where they're a little different. Not by much, but this one's definitely dirty and old. Let's, uh, well, we got this all apart. Let's go ahead and kind of clean this area up. Ah, 
pipe cleaners are amazing at getting into small spaces, guys. You can pick up cheap ones on Amazon. Um, I'll actually throw a link to where you can get some of these down in the show notes on here. You'll have be able to get into these little tight spaces and kind of clean this stuff up and make it get all that grime and gook out of there. And the best part is you can just pitch them and throw them out when they get used up. You can kind of bend them over and use clean areas. But uh, yeah, I love pipe cleaners. I mean, I carry cotton swabs like this, but you're not going to get that in there. So, let's take the new spring. It's definitely a little harder. Clean this little push guy off. Stick it down in here. Take my trusty little screwdriver. Pull it all the way back and drop the extractor in. and we got a new extractor in here functions it works well it looks like it works but it's definitely moving it's a little tighter I think it'll work better so that is it for now Okay guys, well I put the rifle all the way back together. Sorry about the video quality. It's hard, I'm getting used to this. It's kind of my third video, I'm sorry. Um, but, it's one of those things. I tried. Uh, I'll probably get back to you guys, let you know how that works. Um, rifle's all back together, basically it goes back together exactly the way it comes apart. And um, if you want more information on shooting, rifle, marksmanship, cars, camping, guns in general, get over to mywoodknowledgeguy.com, check out the blog. Uh, if you want to help me uh, get some better equipment so this doesn't look so bad, go ahead and take care of our uh, order through our affiliates. Amazon.com, when you order something from Amazon, if you click through one of our links first, we collect a little fee, you guys don't pay anything extra. It's a win-win situation for everybody. You get what you want, and you help me with a few little extra bucks. Um, just got a new affiliate today, actually. It's Yeti. So if you're really excited about buying a Yeti cooler or one of those great Yeti cups or uh, any of the other Yeti products, go over to our affiliate page. There'll be a link down at the bottom of the sh uh, these notes for all of our affiliates. Click on the Yeti, order something online. They've got, they're running a deal right now, and I don't know how long they're going to run it, but uh, anything over 20 bucks is free shipping, so heck, that's awesome, because if you can buy something from Yeti under 20 bucks, that's pretty impressive. Most everything's over $20. So uh, free shipping, and get it. you don't even have to leave your, the comfort of your home. Um, if you need car parts... Got a couple of affiliates. Advanced Auto is one of my affiliates. It's awesome. But anyway, we'll skip the affiliates now. Just remember, try my best. We'll do better for you. And uh, love you guys. So hopefully I'm helping you. If I'm not, let me know. Drop me a line at jeff at myknowledgeguy.com. I'll see what I can do better. So 
Have a good night, guys.